The content on this channel has been created for adults. If you're not at least 13 years of age or older, then please do not watch this content. Sorry, dude. Come back when you're 13. What's up, family? What's up, family? What's up, family? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Off Tap Life. Always a pleasure to be rocking and roll with all you beautiful people around the globe. Guys, we are in for something special right now because we've got Fleetwood Mac coming up. Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac, dude. Fleetwood Mac. The name of the song is The Chain, and this is because of Delightful Donna. Delightful Donna, what's up, girl? How you doing? How you doing? How you living? How is life? How you feeling? Is it feeling right? What's up, Delightful Donna? Delightful Donna has requested this amazing request. I can't wait because Fleetwood Mac, we've done some Fleetwood Mac before, and oh my gosh, Fleetwood Mac does not play around. They do not mess around. They do not mess around. So we're going to go ahead and dive in. And let Fleetwood Mac bring the smoke. Rolling. Yo, let's take a moment to appreciate the harmony action there. I just wanted to appreciate that for a second. Can I appreciate the harmony action there for a second, please? Can we appreciate the harmony action there, please? I just want to appreciate it. That's all. We can continue now. I just want to appreciate the harmony action there.
Guys, oh my gosh, dude, that song is dope. I want to first say, man, I really love the drummer. That drummer was so freaking dope, man. Like, just super animated, super freaking having a great time, man. And he just was good. He was, oh my gosh, he played those drums like freaking it was the end of the world, man. So good. Uh, the harmonies, when you start a song out and you get those dope harmonies, and you already know you got me hooked. You already know you sold me. Those dope harmonies freaking just, oh my gosh, dude. Like, I, the harmony action just absolutely freaking sounded freaking great. I mean, these guys, I mean, they, they're the real deal. I, I remember hearing them last time and feeling all kind of like way about it, man, because they are that good, dude. They are that good. When is this? The chain freaking official music video. When was this? The chain from the 1977 album Rumors. The new Fleetwood Mac collection, 50 years. Don't stop. So they've been around for a minute, huh? I thought they were more of like a 90s band or something, but geez, okay. Wow, dude. These guys are so good. And that was in 2004, that performance in Boston live on PBS. What? That was so good. Freaking, that sounded so good. Oh. Jeez, dude. I really, really, really like that. It's, it's, it's something like, like you, you want to hear more of, you know what I mean? There, there's not every song or every group that you hear, I should say in particular, not every time does it make you want to hear another one back to back. Do you know what I mean? Like some songs you artists you hear and it's like, okay, I've heard that. And you kind of feel like you've heard the album in a sense do you know what i mean you feel like there wasn't much there to to possibly pique your curiosity to want to even attempt to dive in to see what else might be in their body of work do you know what i mean but yet now i remember just fleetwood mac from the last time i already thought oh my gosh these guys are so freaking dope like they they made me want to know more you know what i mean like hear more of their body of work to see what they are about to freaking experience more of the fleetwood mac experience dude these guys are the real deal man that song i like it the chain i mean you think about even sometimes you 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 know that you can't be with someone but there's still this chain that keeps you connected in a sense do you know what i mean like it's like even though I'm going to break up with you, I'm not going to stop loving you. You know, that kind of feeling, you know, that sensation where it's like, our love will always go on. I'll always love you. There will always be that bond, that chain that connects us, that keeps us freaking, you know, from afar feeling some kind of way in some senses. You know, it's like, it's not, you may never see them again, but you still love them. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I could think of that feeling because I've experienced that kind of thing where it's like, you know, you, 
you with somebody, you love them, but you know that they can't be your forever. Even though you wish they could be, you just know somewhere in your heart, deep down inside, and a lot of us are in denial, some of us don't want to admit that <laughs> it's just not in the, in the stars. Um, but a lot of times, like for me personally, I can tell you like every, every, like every single one of my girlfriends that I've ever been with in my entire life, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that to this very day, even the ones that have cheated on me, yes, there was more than one that has cheated on me. Can you believe my luck? Don't even get me started about the girlfriend who got pregnant from some dude. That cheated on me. Can you believe that you've got a girlfriend and you're like thinking, yes, oh my gosh. This is awesome. This is incredible. This is so beautiful. And then you find out that they cheated on you. But not with just any guy. It happened to be someone that was you thought was a friend that you knew. That was a, you know, homie. You know, what the freak's going on there? I don't bring that up to talk about the horribleness of being cheated on. I bring it up to merely say that even after that experience and experiences like that, where the relationships were just unfortunately destructive, you know? I had one girlfriend who was so violent, she used to bite my chin. I used to have a labret, labret, labret down here underneath my lip. I used, this used to be pierced. I used to wear a piercing here. I had to take it out because it was ruined my gums and my teeth like gums got messed up bad it's messed up the whole front of my mouth man don't don't get a little bread underneath your lip don't do it worst piercing to get i mean it looks cool until you realize your gums gone do you know what i mean it's a bad thing it's caused me issues more than i already had with my teeth but but like even after having those type of moments where I was in relationships that were just toxically crazy, I can tell you that I still love each and every one of them. I, I would never <laughs> go back to being in that situation again. There's, I learned a lesson, but that's what one of my favorite sayings is. People come into your life for a season a reason or a lifetime and if you take the moment to learn the lesson to find the lesson then you'll find the blessing that's one of my favorite things to say and it's so true because these people come into our lives so that our soul so we can learn something you know it's it's, it's a, there's a purpose we can't see it sometimes especially when the heat in the moment because like why why am i here in this situation why what what did I do to deserve that you know like and and relationships are hard don't get me wrong like you know like it takes two people to make something work or not work and if you have one person doing all the heavy lifting and not wanting to be willing to come to the party to help make the relationship work you're doomed from the start it takes two people to make these things work that being said, there's something that happens when you spend time with the same person regularly for an extended period of time, someone that you have shared, you know, special things with. You can't help but you've shared your heart with this person. You, you let them into your life. You've shared other deeper things, you know, all kinds of stuff with this person. You, you're going to build a bond. You're going to have something there. You know, there's going to be something. But sometimes you have to accept that 
as much as I know we'll be connected because, you know, you love someone, your souls. Usually a lot of times souls come together for a reason, you know, it's like some people believe that souls every lifetime find each other again and again and again and again. And sometimes you've got that chain connection, but that's all, you, you know, you can't, as much as you maybe want to, you just can't be there. But you're still connected. There's still a bond. A lot of souls like that in life. You know, people who have probably loved many lifetimes, you know, but then each lifetime they're doomed to fail and repeat the cycle. <sighs> but it is a tricky one, man, because... Sometimes the healthiest thing to do, I will say personally from my experience, well, from a spiritual point of view, I will say, is to actually cut that chain, to let go of that attachment. Because when you're holding on to things that you know are absolutely not in your higher good, and you're carrying that around, and then you have multiple things that you're carrying around, you've, so suddenly you've got all these chains connected to you, right? And suddenly you have all these connections connected to you. And sometimes they're hard to break. I would say, you know, sometimes it's hard. It's really hard. Like I said, love hurts. We did that a few songs ago. It does hurt. It's hard sometimes to let go of that, no matter how painful it is. But let me ask you a question. I present one thing to you. If you do not cut those ropes, if you do not cut those chains, get rid of those chains, let them go. If you do not let go of those attachments, how... How are you going to have space in your life for that person that is supposed to be there to be your forever ever after, to be your the one, do you know? How are you going to make space for any other blessings to come into your life if you have no space to let those blessings exist in your life? Those attachments you're carrying around are taking up precious space. What you gonna do? You, you got no more room, it's like your hard drive. It's like your hard drive. Dude, do you know how many times hard drives cause me so much stress? Right now even. Video files, dude, take up so much space, so much room. I'm constantly running out of space. I'm like, what can I delete? I don't know, what, what do I do? I'm, I'm right now at a point where I've got no space. Again, for the hundredth time, I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I do? And at some point, you got to be like, wait a minute, okay. I've got no space left here. I can't keep holding on to that scenario because it's doing me no good. I can't move on. I can't add any other blessings or amazing experiences or anything to my hard drive, it's full. I gotta let it go and move on to the next hard drive. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like that. You gotta cut it and let it go of the attachment so that you can continue to move on, continue to grow. You gotta let it go. So that being said, there's two ways to look at the chain. Yes, there is this chain that is there I think we all have this chain. In some instances, a chain may be there as a result of kids. And that's a hard one when you, you may have kids with someone and then, you know, you're always connected because of your kids. That chain is always there. But do you have to allow that chain to take up valuable space in your hard drive? Remember, season, reason, or lifetime. Let go of the attachment so that you can continue to grow. Continue to have new lessons come into your life. Because with new lessons come new blessings. And yes, I intentionally said blessings like that so it just fit the narrative. Rhymed a bit better. I'm sure you got that. This is all my opinion, my thoughts things I've learned from being a holistic practitioner, certified hypnotherapist, personal development coach. These are things that I've learned 
through my own life experiences. So they've helped me to grow in life and to be able to get past some of my own chains that were very hard to let go of. Even though I had to do it, a lot of times it's hard, but you got to do what you got to do. But thanks to that, I was able to continue to learn lessons and to continue to grow. And that's why today I'm a better person for that. So I hope that helps one of you as well. Maybe you are in a relationship. Maybe you have a situation where you've been holding on to things that you just need to let go of so that you can find that one special person. Do you know what I mean? That you can continue to learn lessons from and have those blessings from. Okay, I'm in this video here because I could talk about this topic for a very, very long time because it's one of those topics, you know? Are you gonna let your chain be a negative or a positive? The choice is yours. Hold on to it or let it go. Choice is yours.